here in Maryville Bowling Alley. What's going on today, Bruno? Well, there's going to be a lot of bowling happening for charity. It's for the Max Keeping Foundation. And there's going to be a lot of prize giveaways. It's going to be uh, contests, raffle prizes. It's going to be a very fun-filled day. I'm here with Max Keeping, uh, former anchor on CJOH News, uh, Ottawa, and as well the founder of the Max Keeping For, Foundation. Former anchor. That, so that's, I'm an old, used to be already. <laughs> well, nice. it, wasn't it just like a couple weeks ago or something? And then, then two weeks. So I'm, I'm going to get known as you used to be. <laughs> yeah, okay, I used to be. So can you tell us about what's going on today? This is the 16th annual Max Keeping Birthday Bowlathon. Our friends who just come in from the Capital City Squad. Local chapter of the 501st Legion Star Wars group. And you're going to want to have your picture taken right here. This group does phenomenal things in the, city, in the city of Ottawa and also other communities. They only appear on behalf of charities. They come in these amazing, amazing outfits. To date, we have raised, over the 16 years, probably close to a million dollars and it's a sellout every year. Today we're here with uh, Princess Leia. I want to say thank you to Giant Tiger, the Canadian Tire Jumpstart Foundation, Peter Fustinellis, the Ottawa Senators Foundation, RBC, Virgin 106.9, the Ottawa Citizen, the Bayshore Shopping Center, CTV, Rocket Man Graphics, the Ottawa Kiosk.com, and OttawaCharities.com, and all the others who provided prizes and support for our uh, bowlathon today. Do country girls know how to bowl? Not really. <laughs> so what do you think of the event so far, Bruno? It's going very well. 18 years ago, uh, we had a couple of uh, pool tournaments. Yeah. And then uh, 16 years ago, we decided to do it as bowling. And we've had an afternoon of bowling ever since. We've raised over a million dollars. That's a lot of kids that get to play, uh, play sports, hockey, soccer. A lot of kids get to go to camp, some scholarships. Uh, it's a chance to even the playing field so that kids who have an economic uh, disadvantage, we can wipe that out and make sure they get to do what every, what every kid should do. I was in the hospital for a long time because I had H1N1. Okay. And um, I was the first one to get the shot. And I was the first one who got H1N1, so they didn't know what I had. Mm -hmm. So um, I was on the respirator for 12 days. Okay. And, um, and um, yes, I'm a very lucky guy. We're Shriners Clowns. Tuna. So, Tuna Shriners Clowns. So we're here today to support Max Keeping because he helps so many children. And uh, children, that's what we do at the Shriners. Today we're here with Emily. Emily, and what's the name of your group today? Crazy Cat. We raised over three hundred dollars. That's very impressive. Since Giant Tiger is sponsoring this, and we're we love to shop at Giant Tiger, we decided to dress up as cats, and this is our mascot. How's he doing today? Good. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be a good good night.
Oh wow. There it is. Thank you very much. Alright, Chris Doggy. And also, uh, you have a condition called, uh, what's it called? Sialidosis. And can you tell us more about that? What is that exactly? Well, it's when you missing, um, say, I'm going to use a cake example. You're making a cake, but you don't have the right ingredient. So you have to raise money to get this ingredient because it's so expensive, right? So that's pretty much how I explain it. Hello, everybody, and on behalf of 900,000 people in the city of Ottawa, thank you for being here today. Yo! Yeah, name 14, Mr. Mayor. I know it. Neither you nor I control how we're born yeah. and into what conditions we're born. And so a, a child suddenly discovers his family is poor. Mm -hmm. He can't go out and go to camp during the summer or he can't play hockey. That's not fair. Yeah. So we wipe out the unfairness. Well, I think it's actually a great event. Well, you know, all the money for kids that can't afford to play hockey or any sports and stuff like that, I think it's a very good thing. And it's going well. Every, yeah, everybody seems happy. The cake looks nice. I like it. It's a good cause. You should come out and show your support. We have a lot of fans on Facebook and YouTube. Is there anything you want to tell them? Um, keep, uh, keep looking at my pictures and uh, see me smile. You know, there was one woman who raised over $2,000, another raised over $1,200. Wow. There was a boy uh, who collected $500 in his school. <laughs> there was another little girl who just came in and she, she raised $50 in her class by having a, a funny hat day. Mm -hmm. She just wanted to help out. $50 helps uh, helps a child. Well, anything helps, yeah, exactly, for sure. And you're really kind of helping people that can't help themselves, really. Thank you very much. It's good to see the city come together for a good turnout. You know, always remember to make a donation to your favorite cause. How are you feeling today? I'm very happy, very excited. <laughs> Tell us, what, why, what makes you so happy today? That we did so well for uh, Max Keeping's foundation. Uh, we raised lots of money. We uh, asked all our friends, people we work with, neighbors, and everybody was so willing to give. And that's us. We're all around the, the Ottawa Valley. And uh, I'm from Lanark County, and I want to thank everybody for helping us out. So people, if they, if they want to donate towards the Max Keeping Foundation, they can go to maxkeepingfoundationright.org? They can go to maxkeepingfoundation.org. You can uh, donate right online. Uh, and, and a lot of people do over the course of the year. We'll, we'll raise another few thousand dollars of people who, uh, who will do so. We only have the one fundraiser because I'm involved with so many charities yeah. uh, that I don't want to be out competing against myself. <laughs> you have raised a total of $103,000. There are so many ways in, in which you can you can impact somebody's life, so uh, do it, because you will feel better. Amazing, Max. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. And uh, great job. And, and, I, and the next time, let's try to do the comedy act, yeah, okay? Yeah, we'll do like some little parody <laughs> or something like that, for sure. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. This is Max Keeping and Mike Flinty. That's good. I mean, uh, I, I, it's funny because, uh, do I, Princess Lake? Max is uh, well known throughout the universe, so. Even Darth Vader had to stop by to see him. Yes, he did. He's kind of scary, though. Ooh.